Hey guys, and welcome back to Massa Factorio. I'm joined, as always, by Avak, Arumba, and Mangled Pork. Hello, Hello. everyone. How's it going? See? I'm in the middle of nowhere. I just want to go home now. I was just looking I'm for biters, and I just kept going. And you found them. And now, now you're gonna live out And now they've made a wall. If you, like, look over here, there's just a wall of them that I can't pass. Well, as long think, as they made you pay for it. I think that's you should set up your... <laughs> wow, Steve uh, <laughs> I think you should set up a, a base down there. We'll come visit you eventually. There's nothing but copper here, though. It's Stupid okay, they're on peaceful, copper. they won't attack you. It's fine. No, they're not. I don't believe that for... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was cool, Steve but glorious as well. Uh. Oh. I wouldn't put it past a rumba, though. In the setup. Nope. No, I wouldn't that's do something that. like that. That's rude. I would. Sure? I am sure. I I recognize that I I am rare in that I hate biters. Not everyone is that way. Plenty of people like like you guys in particular. You guys like biters, so have at it. Enjoy them. They're they're here. You can play with biters. I like them well, in the so far be... as they add an enemy, but yeah. I feel like they need to be better. Mhm. Mm I've just never really thought that as a as a an enemy or like a an a an opponent, they really solve the problem properly. Flying or subterranean biters. There we go. Oh lord. Great. Oh great. Now you're giving them... worms that I want them to. You know, I want this to be a water up. update where there are sea biters oh, and ships, cargo ships that you can send. That but would then only, see, only I'm I... the person who wants that because I'm the one who has the map with the giant lake. I totally. I, that would just be absolutely amazing if you had this vast lake and instead of doing a rail all the way around it You simply had a ship that just went from port A to port B. That would be so great It's like I got uh, attacked and blown up by biters on the way to its destination and all my stuff gets destroyed Leviathan in, bite. <laughs> I saw your uh, I saw your train get destroyed That was painful. Didn't that hurt? I mean as a factorial player didn't that actually like hurt your soul? Yeah, and, and uh, the, the worst part was that I could have prevented it, because yeah. everyone was like, why don't you just deploy bots? And I'm like, crap, I didn't think to deploy bots. I, I would just sat there in the train, was in like, this train. I'm dying, oh dear. This is a shame. Yeah. This was in your Rail World campaign? What kind of train yeah. was it that you lost? Oh, man. It, it was it, five wagons completely full of uh, solid fuel, plastic... Engines, Oil products, concrete, basically. Just Yeah, all the stuff. But mostly oil products. Oil being the thing that my factory is struggling with. And it, it managed it. to just mm. about scrounge together this train load of equipment. I was on my way there, and the biters ambushed me and blew it up. And left only like... the steel wagon, which is the one wagon I didn't care about. I feel like had I actually steel. seen a bit more of the series, then I would have understood your loss and felt a bit of pity for you, but... All that I saw was like this thing blown up, and I was like, "Oh, that was a bit, that was a bit stupid." <laughs> and then that was it. It was just someone posted the clip to Reddit. I didn't know that. Oh, did they? I never pay attention to yeah. Reddit. Oh, that's fantastic. I put a bunch of these the wrong way around because I'm an idiot. Trying Doesn't to find my way home, but like Reddit. suddenly there's biters everywhere. I just wanted to take a, a different route to the one I'd I'd come by, so that I can scan more land. But apparently I was walking down this one corridor of biterlessness. It just... It was so amazing, though. I mean, because I've watched that series. You don't bring out the episodes too often, so it's very easy to keep up. And I understood how much you'd lost. Like, I had I had a concept of time invested in that cargo. <laughs> uh... I'll have my revenge. Well, no, I say it. It was sweet, them, wasn't we'll, it? Will have the same effect. <laughs> I don't think anything you could ever do to the biters will have that same effect. No. All right, do you want me to uh, bring the copper up the back here? Yeah, yeah. I don't. Uh, help if I grab some iron and copper myself. Yoink! I'm nearly back. Sort of. Not that landfill. nearly. I need to landfill all of the water. Oh god. I knew this was gonna happen. I still think it's in vanilla now. It is. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't no, even no, complain. Him. I'm gonna get that mod soon, or that, that tech soon, and I'm gonna start filling it all in. I don't have that much water to start with. 
Yeah. No, I just don't want to move the whole setup because we don't have robots yet. I've nearly returned. Right, so on the topic of bus, what do you guys tend to put on your on your bus? Usually for me, it's things like um, things that are used in very high quantities, like uh, iron, obviously copper, plastic. Steel. And things that are a pain in the ass to make locally. Yeah, so for example, red circuits often end up on my bus. Yeah, green, all the, all the circuits. They're always built local to where they're needed. You build green local? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, I, I just always build it local because I'll just I'll just branch off the uh, copper and then I'll just make it local to, to where it's needed. In, in it, it always seems to make sense for me. I'll just increase the the amount that I'm making of whatever needed the green circuits to use how much I'm making locally. I was going to say then yeah. you would need to you would work out your ratios based on the yeah. three to four uh, the three to two green circuits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I find that green circuits are are like a third primary resource. You use so many. Yeah. yeah, but it's so easy to make is 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 my thing because it's it just needs copper and iron and it is hmm. fairly simple to just set up a little area that just makes a vast amount of them if you need a lot or just one little area that will that either you upscale what you're outputting to match your supply of green circuits or you just accept that ah, they're not the factories aren't going to be working all the time. Um, no, you can't accept that. <laughs> well, how do you? Usually, uh, I try not to. But every now and then, I'm like, oh, I, just, I can't. Be bothered. But how do you I handle it when you use... things to do with my time like expand my rail net. When you start doing beacons though, like you don't do a beacon oh, yeah. green circuit setup, do you? I never beacon green circuit. Ah, well that might be <laughs> part of the reason for the disparity. I usually try to build setups that like scale really well into the beacon phase of the game because well, eventually you're gonna want to beacon everything. Yeah, you, you have to. If you really want to get good throughput, you gotta beacon all your green. You gotta beacon I everything. I never use beacons. Oh my god. You have a I, you you were just saying you have a factory you've been playing for two and a half years. How have you not used beacons on it? Actually, I have just started just using them, them on the oil because this. oil is terrible. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, I'm oil just... is probably the first thing I beacon. It's the first thing that usually gets any mods that I make is oil. Um, and the oil is and a few of the others. Uh, the actual pump jacks. Cells, yeah. Oh really? Yeah, I put, put speed down on them and then beacon them. Put up. speeds in them, but that's about. Oh, I I, I beacon them quite extensively when I can because. They're annoying enough in most of the games that I really don't want to have to set up more outposts for them. So the more I can get out of any one particular outpost, the happier I am. Yeah. And, mm, I don't know. I feel like with... I always play with RSO, though, so the farther away, the more oil you get. Yeah. Although I mean, that's vanilla that's now as well, is, is it not? It all comes down to the, the map design. I mean, I, I scale it for what I'm doing. Like, for example, in... Um, uh, in the most recent series that I had up on my channel, I was beaconing and, and doing stuff on just stone because stone is such a scarce resource there. It, it's really scarce. So I have to try and get the most out of every stone deposit I can. Hmm. Care about how fast it gets to the, the, the factory, just as much of it gets there as possible. Yeah, beaconed up with productivity, and I and that's one thing I like about not having everything being the same. You know, you, you've got different setups. I'm gonna make shotgun purely to destroy forests. Uh, it's, uh you're still quicker off really? chopping them. Yeah, unfortunately, the the regular shotgun is crap. Oh, poop. Yeah, believe me, if I can murder trees any quicker, I'd know about it. <laughs> Right, so yeah, what you need to come next shortly. then. We've got. Have we actually got any science automation yet? No, we don't. <laughs> no, I was making nope. the. I was making the green circuit so that we could yeah, get right. red and then green science done like yeah. one well, it'll after another. Well, be interesting other. to see how how uh, this setup of having green circuits on the main bus will will go. Because that that is very different from the way I usually play myself. I like how you're just so focused on making a main bus that we don't have science yet. Yep, yep. Who needs I usually science, build like a, like a mini oh, no, factory I've got... to get the science and the basic materials ready. Yeah, that, that's I usually that what I do. I, like, I have my main landfall factory, which is just this spaghetti mess. A bit and I'll strapped. usually enshrine it with like walls. It'll be this like old relic from the past. <laughs> and then my mega factory just builds up around it and I just keep it like a museum piece. It's like from humble beginnings. I make like my my production square, which is just like one 
red science, one gears, one circuits, one uh, yeah. wires. Here, I'll do a, a very, very basic red, just to get red, uh, all the red taken care of. Need iron. Otherwise, you're right. We're, <laughs> we're actually, we don't even have steel. We're on like episode three, and we don't even oh, have steel. That. It's rather we have, sad. We have like, I take it you were fully operational. Am I sucking up all of the iron? Yeah. We've got fully operational circuit production over here with four assemblers already. Yeah, with level one assemblers. Yeah, well, what have you guys been doing? Huh? <laughs> We've been exploring. Punks. Yeah, been discovering well then. New life and new civilizations and boldly going where no man has gone before. Balls have See, I've, I've managed to do fucking green circuits and you're whinging because green circuits are done. Yeah, because science yeah but you could have you done science. Like, fuck you. <laughs> wow. wow Some hostility I'm there. sensing here. Jeez. Yeah. Fucking Steejo does stuff and people win. Steejo doesn't do stuff and people win. Fucking no winning. But you should notice. He's doing the, the wrong Steejo. stuff. That's the problem. I'm going to fucking do wrong stuff all over your face. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, okay. like that. And you'll end up with pink eye. Oh, that descended quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, what the fuck? I was trying to build something. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Mm. Uh, there. Not there. Okay, everything else sorted out. Right. right, okay, so where are we going to be? Oh, okay, you've uh, run it all over here. A rumbo is in charge of making the sciences. Well done. It's just red, it's just, it's temporary. I'm in, oh, I'm to be honest, for... you know, anything, anything moving forward. Progress, my man, progress. It is all it's, good. It's all temporary. Yeah. I do agree that, uh, like, bussing gears usually feels not useful. Well, oh, bussing gears it... is just... Uh, I, I know some people swear by it, but I cannot get behind bussing gears. I, nope. I won't even entertain the thought of it. Yeah, like, I always do that. Usually it's like, okay, well, let's see how it, how it works. You know, maybe I, I've just been blind to how useful this is all this time. But it's like, no, busting gears, no. I, see, I've seen Mangled I've Pork do not before, done that. And I love, one of the things that Mangled Pork has done in, in our previous campaigns is he'll usually do, you usually do a belt with green circuits and, and gears on it. And it's just so freaking convenient. Even though the throughput's crap, having gears and, and circuits on it makes so many of the early game items... Easy. There's gears, yes, man. There's one way, fucking way, factory. Sorry. And that one factory can actually supply quite a lot as well. Yeah, well, I always use gears as my, like, that is the the minimum for my ratios. Ah, right, okay. So it's like I'm doing science, so I'll do one gear factory and then, like, ten science production. We are currently working on electronics, so that means we're going to have the filter inserter soon after. I always feel like that comes like sooner than than you'd expect, because I don't oh. use it till like that's when we get to like blue sign sort of levels. I very rarely use a filter inserter. Yeah, most most of the time a good setup. You don't really need. I to use it anything. for a couple of things because like I like to have very compact. Ex like when I'm expanding my train network, I'll usually have little um sort of military outposts which will have a radar, um mm. and just a couple of guns. If for no, no other reason to draw bite or aggression, if a base pops up, because now in vanilla, bases just, you know, they're very good at just popping back up. Um, I'll have these little bases just to kind of draw their aggression to a place where I've got defenses rather than them messing anything else up. Um, so I use filter inserters on that because I try to have them as small as I can. And for that, I need filter inserters and circuit networks to like work out what they should be unloading off the bullet train that just rushes past every now and then to drop off. Yeah, I like supply. I like that you can set um set filters via circuit yeah. network conditions. It's that's really, nice. Really useful. But that's the only time I do it. I don't really use it for anything else. Um like it's certainly not a part of my main factory. Yeah. Ah trees. How I hate thee. I know I've got loads of uh wood in my inventory. I've, I've just got a little wooden I chest that I keep dumping it. I see yeah, Steejo's Doing the exact same thing I just done, but in a different spot. Extra red signs, Steejo. 
Yeah, because yours is fucking <laughs> squirrely. Like, what you, the fuck is this? It's not even on the bus. It doesn't like, matter. You could have, you, you could have actually is... used your uh, nah. your skills for good, but no, you used them for idiocy. I've seen your spaghetti factory. This is not going to become one of them. Sure it is. We got four people. It's going to be a fact. It's going to be spaghetti. You know it. No. You can't keep control we've got, forever. Yes. We've got four semi-intelligent people. I've started building belts now. It's only a matter of time before it all descends into chaos. <laughs> Oh no, it's fine, because there's a wooden chest in one of these uh, furnaces. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, what I was going to say is all we need to do is find some sort of gem equivalent and we'll you'll disappear for like three episodes. Yeah, you should... Make a sorting loop for the four ores. Uh, you should make a sorting loop for the, the wood. Tell you what, though. <laughs> um, it was kind of based off of what you did uh, with that gem loop that I set up a uh, loop for my science and all I had was the belts delivering the, the the raw resources for the factories and then I had a loop that uh, used circuits to work out what was needed um, there was like a, a mini loop that had all of the science packs on it and the belts were reading what science packs were there and then whatever I didn't have it would load the resources onto the main loop and then pass it around the assembly loop and it would just make the the science packs and just dump it off it was really really fun but so impractical it was <laughs> amazing to make but it was it, it, i it was it was basically a pythagoras switch for science packs that's all i, I it took me hours to do as well and all i'd done is make a pythagoras switch it's like when someone is like, "Hey, what if you what if you put, built your entire factory on a loop that had everything on it?" I've yeah, done that. no one's ever it done possible, that. Possible, but, but... <laughs> no, no, no one would ever be that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> possible, yeah, it's not like, but I would never ever do it. It's not like I've got an entire series based around that exact concept. <laughs> Literally everything uh, on it. How does it work, though? Do you like? <laughs> not very well. Not very well okay. <laughs> <laughs> I loved how it started out. I'm never going to use robots. And towards the end, it's like, oh my god, robots. Yeah, it was like, fuck this. Just send the robots. And then it turned into an all-robot factory, which people still request today. They're like, Studio, why don't you do a series where it's just all-robot factory? And I was like, because I'd done it, and it was boring as fuck. <laughs> it's like when someone's like, hey, what if you make a factory where you never use belts? It's like, it can be done, but no. <laughs> yeah, what about the, uh, the no pocket crafting challenge? It's like, yeah, I could do it, but it'd be boring as fuck. And then I ended up doing it anyway because they made it an achievement, and that's just like taunting me. What's well, the thing? I, I actually, did that before I, it was an achievement, be and now I'm regretting not waiting. I don't mind that at all. Um, the idea that you want to automate everything, so as soon as yeah. you can build a factory to do it, you do. That that isn't as bad to me. I'll be honest. That doesn't sound quite as. Uh, I like but... I like how it's getting it's getting me in the. Uh, like in the mindset of just automate everything. Mm -hmm. which yeah, is the, nice. the next patch, right? They're they're kind of working in that direction by making it so that uh, like assembly machines are going to be part of science packs. So you're going to automate assembly machines much much earlier. That's smart. Yeah, yeah. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's certain things you just they they're, they're the random stuff that you automate right at the end. Yeah, like it's yeah, easy you're to like play oh, I could for, really do this. Yeah, very easy to play for ages and ages and never actually automate. Assembly machines, but you use them all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole new science pack <laughs> setup that's coming looks really cool. Point five. Okay. Like, I'm always tempted to like build a factory them? that can make them before they've even arrived. You're trying to uh, math out the ratios you need for the. I'm trying to decide. I'm trying to decide if I just I can... make a factory that can that can make the the bits. I'm trying to decide if I can one side these. Assemblers that don't do anything. Uh, okay. Which I I can. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna one side uh, copper. Yeah, and then have the gears on the other. Yep. Yep. Oh, well, that makes sense. I was trying to think of throughputs there. And because of how long it takes these to get made, we can just use one yellow. Yeah. Trying to work out the best place to put a power pole to cover the most stuff, but it's just never going to be nice and tidy. I can't wait until we get medium power poles. <laughs> yeah, we could we could push right for those right now if you want. 
That is such a uh, necessary technology for me. <laughs> Medium power poles. <laughs> I need them so badly because everything <laughs> becomes so much easier when you don't have like this tiny little area where you can power things. Oh gosh, I, I think you just sold yourself on playing Factorissimo. Imagine buildings <laughs> where there are no power, you don't need power poles at all. Yeah, but that's cheating. Though. No, cheating. Yeah. Ah, you and the cheating word. Blah. It's gross, don't say that word. <laughs> anyway, that's, uh, unfortunately, that's us out of time. I'm oh, sorry, I mean... all of my viewers who have come to expect 40 minute episodes. Now, Steve Joe is a very busy man. He's got many things that he needs to do with his time. Like, Indeed, um, you need standardized formats and things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess can... I guess we're gonna go here then. Yes, <laughs> maybe. Anyway, as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve Jubin Awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. You've been what? Bye. -bye. Awesome, awesome. No, no, you've, you've you've been what? You cut out. Oh, I, I, oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Skype, you can suck a dick, mate. I, I choose you to die, Skype. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye bye. bye.